Hello everybody, Jonathan here from AJ and Smart and once again I'm in our one of our design spaces at the office here in lovely sunny Berlin and once again I'm going to be cutting to a clip from our master class and this master class is a an online course for learning how to run the design sprint. The clip you're about to see is myself and Jake Knapp. Jake Knapp is the inventor of the design sprint and we're going to be answering questions from our master class students. Now this is a super super common question that we get very often and it is around if you're facilitating a design sprint, do you have to be like an outgoing, charismatic person? Super common question, and here is Jake's answer to that question. Hope you enjoy it, and see you after the video. Are we on? Yes. Hey, everybody, welcome back. Oh, hey, everybody. Sorry, <laughs> just put the best of Remington Steel such a good, Such a good show, Remington That's Steel me. with Pierce Brosnan. So, hope you're enjoying the course so far. Um, we're just about to do another little q and If you're not here. enjoying it, it's great that you're still watching, because yeah. you could do something else if I you I mean, want. you know, even if you're not enjoying it, you're still hopefully going to get something out of it. Yeah. Is it about being enjoyable? Well, maybe it should be. Oh, okay. Okay, we'll um, see. Maybe let's see if we can make it enjoyable okay, here. Okay. Um, whew, some people won't get that that was a joke. Okay, should we just start No, it's good. Now? I like it. I like it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Nilo, uh, Nilo asks, Nilu asks, no, wait a second. No, sorry. Charles asks, what happens if facilit... Do you want to try that? Those things are super similar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, sorry, that says Charles. Uh, <laughs> no, hard question. I, that has to be a podcast. <laughs> with, with Brittany. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, Charles asks, what happens if facilitators aren't as eloquent as you guys? Do well-run sprints no. rely on facilitators with charisma? Um, well, you and I are not charismatic. So. I am, anyway. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, it's one of us. Um, so, yeah, I. that's a good question. I think that one of the things that has helped me a lot in getting sprints going for the first time was just that I won't stop talking. And if there's somebody who, you know, won't stop talking, if they're facilitating, I guess that's good. But I think actually it, it can be a hindrance to be too much of a talker in the sprint. Uh, so I think that it's, I've heard a lot of stories of folks who do run sprints, who are, are quieter, who feel like, you know, that's not their sort of natural mode and it works. Um, but it's gonna be a little bit easier every time for somebody who's comfortable running a meeting. And I think of that as like the key skill. You need to feel comfortable telling the folks in the room that, you know, hey, we're, we're gonna be stopping the conversation sometimes sooner than you'd like. It's gonna feel weird. And some of those things are less so about, I don't know, being eloquent uh, to the extent that you and I ever are, and I certainly don't sound very eloquent right now. It's, it's more about, it's more about um, actually having some command in the room and feeling like you can cut people off. That is important. And if you feel like you can't do that, I don't think you know it's gonna, it's gonna be easy for you in the sprint. You're gonna have to go into that mode or you're gonna have to have someone who already feels comfortable doing that. But I don't think you need to be a, you know, comfortable speaking on stage or some of the things that you and I do um, in order to make it work. And I, I know that's the case because I know a lot of different personality types who have facilitated sprints very successfully. And I know that I hear from people all the time who have different sort of modes of talking and different levels of comfort. And they're often surprised that it worked for them. But you do, I have to admit there is a threshold of like cutting people off or just like commanding the room and saying like, okay, hey, here's what's next. You're like, your voice has to be loud enough, you know, for, for people to stop what they're doing. Whew. Um, well, this is, made, I don't know, well, you have to watch the video, <laughs> Rob. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, if you did, maybe leave a comment um, about what types of questions you'd like us to answer in these videos. And also, if you're interested in this video, if you liked it, we've got a one hour, 20 minute class down below about how to run and sell your own design sprints if you're interested in that. So hope you have a great day. Give this video a like and a comment and a subscribe, just everything if you enjoyed it. It really helps us to pump out more free stuff on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.